finally, how easy is it now to use the Moji Pro? And the answer is, I just came out with the latest version of the placeholder website project. It includes the hidden link code instructions and the coding and how all of that works. What you have to do with it is all inside a readme first file. It's a piece of cake. Here's the backup supporting files. And these right here are literally what you upload to your own website into the root. That's it. That's all this says. It says upload these into the root. You can change whatever you want inside here. You can change the images. Just make sure they have the same names so that they match on the page. Uh, but literally, just upload them. And then you can run your project out for your own domain. How easy is it now? It's a one, two, three step method. Just ignore the other files in that case. Just one, two, three. How's it work? You open up the first step. Step one. This is how easy it's gotten now. Let me just load it because I have to load it. There it is. I make sure that it knows where the index page is. Just browse to it. Make sure it's got the var sheet. Browse to that. Here's where it's going to create the pages I want. I want them to go to this domain, which I type in slash some project folder, because I want to do all my projects in different project folders as I go along. OK, so this is like my dream keyword backlink program. Just make sure to use dashes. Don't have a space that doesn't make sense for a link, you know. It's got to be a dash and don't have capital letters in it. Don't make it like backlink program with a capital P because then the software doesn't get get that. And you don't need it anyway. Backlink program like that's perfect. Decide how many files you want to create. You can create 10,000 if you want. Whatever you want to do. Google will index as it chooses. And so you just got to wait. I only did 30 so I could show it off fast. Now what? Enter in your FTP info. Upload it to the FTP server. So it's like you're there you go it's your domain and then you can take this thing and just straight copy it you know so if all you had there was just your domain then you just can paste it in paste that way you make sure this matches that that's important and you just need your username for FTP and your password for FTP and that's literally it that's all you need to do hit save now in the next tab basically you don't even need to think about it you can just ignore the next tab so we can cut that was all we had to do everything is done except just change your domain name and change your project that's it and and if you want to do another project on the same domain name that's perfect like maybe I want to do another one for backlink software okay but if I do that I got to make sure this matches backlink software and I could save these as different profiles so I never lose them okay and just save it I close it so that's really all I did okay just to review step one, <laughs> again, just for the ease of it, open it, put in the website you want and the project folder you want. Website, project folder. If this is a main domain on your website, then you're going to need this um, whatever it is for the path, right? Like public HTML slash or whatever it is that you have, like yours might say home, you know, or it might say web pages for the path, right? But that's all. That's just for FTP connection. But there we go. They match. Username, password, save. That's it. That's all I had to do for step one. What was step two? Watch this. You're going to like this. If I highlight the whole thing from here, then I can drag this out by double clicking whenever I see that line with the arrows. Okay. Your keywords go here, whatever you want them to be. The destination website you want to promote goes here. Don't include HTTP colon slash slash. You do this with or without the www dot. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you prefer. Okay. And if you get the blue, just remove the blue. Remove the hyperlink. Okay. This is a dream keyword. Kind of like a big keyword. It can be the same as your project folder if you want. This is geotargeting. You can use any geotargeting you want. I threw a bunch in. Why? It just helps create page uniqueness. And it's part of the reason that you can do 54 million web pages with this thing. Um, you can shorten this list up, change it, whatever you want to do. Any kind of geotargeting will not go matched into your anchor text unless you intentionally want to do that. But we found there's not a point. You probably don't want Adelanto, California, Seattle website advertising anyway. So the anchor text should just say Seattle website advertising and point right there. That's how it's supposed to go. So these words point to whatever you put in here. Can you put more than one website? Yes. That way you can cycle. You can get backlinks to both. Page by page, it'll choose one of these each time around, the way it does the uniquing. 
remove the hyperlink. Okay. Now the menu, you can leave it alone or you can change it. These are the menu links that get generated on the pages. What that means is wherever your pages are going, see these menu links here and these menu links, these are the menu links. So you're controlling the actual name of the link like this one right now says how this works inside the folder, how this works. You control all those names, how this works, by making these whatever you want. Don't add or subtract the number. There's got to be the same number. There's 11 here, you know, from 2 through 12. Root just means the root folder. What is this for? It's going to generate pages into all of these subfolders for you. This acts like categories for those of you working with WordPress. So if you did a thousand pages, it's going to, to put them into these folders in turn. That way your website is wide. It's not just a whole bunch of pages in one spot. Now, these need to match going across how this works. It doesn't matter what the order is, just make sure that it's that it's in both places the same exact way. No stray spaces. And that way, when you're creating pages in all of these places, including the root, these are the menu choices that it will choose between, which is awesome. Like the second link that, down on the page, the one for why choose this. Sorry, kind of got a cold. Why choose this? Uh, right there. Sometimes it'll say why choose this, but if I go to another page, it can say something else. It can say Seattle website marketing. And if I go to another page, it can say Bellevue marketing. So if I create a thousand web pages, I'll basically get 333 of these, 333 of those, 333 of these. Um, why? Because that way you can make your website wider with more connections all throughout the the sections you're spreading your pages across and connecting to them more that way you have more direct connections to subfolders okay awesome awesome for ranking purposes and it just continues on from there so there's the special bonuses the internet marketing website advertising internet advertising and don't do anything for root root is just root it only goes there that's it guys that's it now there's nothing else to do i mean i'm done i hit the go button now, what is the menu for? The menu is so when it creates the pages, it also creates the index.html for each, including the root. You need that at least, a main index.html page. And it also creates the sitemap.html and sitemap.txt files for each. That way, you have short sitemap files in as many categories as you wanted to include here. Okay? Huge. What's another thing we did? We did this. This is a big deal. You can put brackets around the, the header terms and it will exactly cycle through top down. It won't mix and match from the uniquing process, but it'll cycle through page by page. So if you do that, what does that allow you? That allows you to always use this keyword with that page. And no, it doesn't have to be the main page. It could be services.html or whatever. And that way, this could say something like website marketing Seattle services, if I want, or Moji services, if I want, whatever it is that I want to use for it. So it can actually be pages as well as websites. Now, I could go to another page of the same site. I could have a moji-crew.com slash opportunity.html and that would be for Moji opportunity. So I can interlink an entire sitemap from a website with whatever keywords I want to cycle through. Okay, and it'll just cycle through those choices. So if you have keywords all the way down for pages all the way down and it's a direct match, then it'll always do that keyword with that page, that keyword with that page, that keyword with, you know, that page, that keyword with that page. But another way to do it is maybe just want too, but you want to create these backlinks for all of these different pages. Or it could just be one keyword pointing at all the different pages, in which case if it's just one keyword you don't really need the brackets but it won't hurt. Okay. Now that's just awesome. So you can use one keyword to promote different sites. You can use multiple keywords to promote one site. You can use multiple keywords for multiple sites and you can either mix and match them or don't depending on whether you use the bracket concept or not. So the way I did my five projects, I could do it all kinds of ways. I could have is squad Dennis. I could have um, uh, cleaning business software. 
and this is my Issaquah dentist domain, my cleaning is a software domain. Okay, and that's it. You know, and I could do another one, two, three for my own websites or for other websites, whatever it is. And I could run that out. And that is literally doing five pro, uh, five backlinking projects. In other words, I'm backlinking five websites at once on one project that creates all the sub pages for me. So you don't need more profiles. Okay, that's cool. Let me kind of get this back to what you would recognize. Boom boom and clear contents okay and that's good so what's the third step that was it you don't even need to open the index page anymore no reason to open this at all no needing to open it with notepad or anything like that just leave it alone the last thing you do is hit create project and it creates it literally right down in there just like this it actually makes the pages and then uploads them for you because that's what you specified in the information. Now someone said, how hard is it to do it on your own website? I'll give you an example. I created a copy of this profile. It uses all the same folders here, but I created the copy of the profile in into a different uh, profile so I can show you how that looks real fast. Okay, here we go. Same index, same var sheet, the same runs folder, okay? But a different domain name, and a different project. And this is the actual full out FTP for it because it is a um, sub path on this other website. So this is the website with public HTML with runs represents this. And then this is the project I'm gonna create. And that's the username and the password for this particular thing. And I can do as many pages as I want on that. Save it and close it and run it, actually I should have saved it, but it's all the same, and run it just the same way, really, I just do this, except I do it with that one, that's all, edit, forgot to make that particular thing, so I just make another one for that, that's easy, uh, but you can just run it from inside here anyway, uh, if you don't know how to create the batch file, we show you how to do it, it's a breeze, uh, but if you didn't know, just tip process, that's it, and it'll put the pages up there, as a matter of fact, I'll do it, now the only thing is, it's real fast to create the pages, but then it uploads on one thread, so it's kind of slow, but it is doing it. And when it's done, it will create the index pages and the sitemaps for all of those. And the only thing I have left to do is upload the supporting files because they don't exist yet. My page is going to look really, really weird until I upload them. But take a look at this. Here we go. MojiCSPPC.com. And you just see some funny filler front page. There wasn't anything important there. But... When I go backlink software, that's my project, or I'm sorry, not .com, .html. Actually, just backlink software. Or what did I call it? <laughs> I gotta actually make sure I know what I called it for crying out loud. Back, backlink program. Uh, program. Okay. It looks silly until I do what? Upload the supporting files. How do I do that? If you've got Firefox FTP, you're going to find this easy. Tools, Webmaster, Web Developer, Fire FTP. It's free. It's an add-on for Firefox. Okay. And all I do is navigate to where those supporting files are right there. And I connect to my website, which I plugged in here, right? I created a new connection. You can always create an account. And so I created that one with the FTP info. So I connect to it and I just go into here and I don't put them inside the project folder. I just put them inside the root, which in this case is runs. That is the folder that this domain is assigned to. So I just go like that and like that and upload and that takes care of it. Now, what's that mean? It means I just created 30 web pages on two different websites that completely backlink the websites I want for the keywords I want. Could I keep going? Absolutely. How's it going to look? That's the one, right? There. Now it's fixed because everything just got uploaded. And there's the backlink. It says Seattle Website Marketing. And it happens to be pointing at moji-crew.com. That's how I almost got on the front page. 
That's how I did get on the front page for website marketing solutions before they got me back and I got to do it again. How hard is that? That was the entire thing. That's like the entire instruction manual for the backlinking project for multiple websites. That's the extent of difficulty of using the Moji Pro version 1.6 and your ability to put it up on website after website after website after website after website literally all the time the pages are going to be unique when they get created and google's going to be able to index them all that you have left to do is log into your google webmasters account which is free and simply submit the sitemap which is free just so google knows it's there you don't even need to do it because google will find them as long as there's a direct path to those project folders, you create a link in your main page or whatever, so that there's a way to get from the main page to that folder, even if it's tiny print, it's just got to be there. And you can even do it with the hidden code so that no one even has to know the link exists. The hidden code will work. So on your main page, like in this case, moji-csppc.com, I can stick a little piece of hidden code on that main page that says go to moji-csppc.com slash backlink slash program or whatever that was, software. And that is a link to that page, like a menu link, just invisible and tiny. And what that means in the end is that Google's going to wind up conning that. It's really a big, big deal. So what now? That's it. I'm going to put out a bunch more um, placeholder websites too because I have a lot more var sheets along with um, model pages now with different images. So you can create entirely different sites about entirely different things. Uh, you just get more diversity that way. That way there's never going to be a point of saturation. It's so incredibly easy it's not funny. And again, you know, all you have to do is get more domains. Domains are cheap, 10 bucks each. Slap them on the same hosting account if you want. Get uh, dedicated IP addresses for each. That's a piece of cake. You can do it on an as-needed basis. If you have different complete projects, placeholder websites that are different, which I'll be sending soon, then you can actually, you know, if you got five, then you can do one of each. They're entirely different projects, and they don't look anything like each other. They don't use the same images or anything. They're all different, but they're all proven because these are var sheets with uh, model pages that are based on runs. The ones like these you're going to get okay like this rosa a natural treatment a kai blast easy 24-hour income that kind of thing build up in such a way that you can create pages for yourself they do incredibly well and they're done for you already so all of it is for backlinking just for as many domains as you want just the domain on each case again the same thing is just choose it in your uh, profile the profile itself and that's the only place you have to make the change because on the website it will now read the domain from here. Okay, you don't have to go into the web page to make any changes at all. So you can put these projects up anywhere you want. Hugely valuable. Now, that's our automated backlinking solution. It's so incredibly powerful, it's not funny. Some of you are gonna get ranking results in like days from it. And for anything you can think of that you wanna put out, you can just keep building it up and get top results for keywords you're after. But this is the tool. It's completely shown to work. It's completely user friendly. It's so perfectly easy to do this on as many domains as you can get your hands on. They're everywhere. Most people that have domains make nothing with them. And it's like trash for them, junk. One person's junk is another person's treasure. You could go to a forum and just put out a perfectly free offer. Hey, let me have access to a website you're not using because you can't get anything to happen with it. And I'll do a bunch of backlinking results and show you how that goes. Don't worry, I'm not putting up pages about anything illegal. And don't worry, I'm not doing any kind of hacking. And guys will work with you on that kind of thing, you know, and so that's a breeze. How do you get it? Website-marketing-solutions.com. Go to Strong Tools. And go to install WSP, get WMS packages. And when you get here, the Moji Pro, you've got three options for the Moji Pro. They're all hot. The one that we just went over, this is this Moji Pro standalone. It comes with everything we've just been talking about. All this stuff that goes with it. And the placeholder website with the other ones that are going to come too. Updates are free for life. This latest one is the sixth update, a 1.6. And it's been made so easy, it's pathetic. <laughs> you don't have to learn how the software works anymore. You can just focus on basic strategy, putting out a lot of backlinks for whatever projects you want, 
and then just making little tweaks to the pages to optimize all those projects. That's it. And just keep adding more backlinks until they rank for whatever it is you go after. Okay, and may, maybe make some little more on-page SEO tweaks uh, to make the web pages rank better too. And that's it. And in a lot of cases, you don't even need to touch the page. Like I showed you with the buy vitamin B17 example, we never touched that guy's page. And he's not at all optimized for buy vitamin B17. He just has the word buy on the page somewhere and the word vitamin B17 on the page somewhere. And that was enough for us to shove him to page one for buy vitamin B17. That's crazy. And that's just one example of so many, just really lots. And it's probably not ending now. I got some guys already got an early copy of the 1.6 for themselves. Uh, and they're running off doing their own work with it. It's absolutely certain. It took me like 45 minutes to pull off jobs for five clients all at once, that kind of thing. And that's what's huge. All right, guys. Uh, hope you find that interesting. That's what I have for you today really really big deal hope you get involved soon and guys who get into it now and get it rolling uh, if you sell stuff that's good for Christmas gifts or look for stuff to sell that's good for Christmas gifts you might just make a lot of Christmas gift sales before the new year hits for those of you guys that want to get ready for next year's business after the vacation is over if you start now you can be all optimized for all these major things you want before the new year hits or as the new year hits so you're completely competitive right out the gate before the buying spree starts for whatever it is you're selling and you can do like five projects at once if you charge guys and a project takes you 45 minutes you can do five guys for a total of 250 bucks uh, with the keywords that were selected for them and that might be all you need to do during your 250 bucks in 15 minutes that's like a grand an hour Okay, that's the power that the software puts in your hands. It's fourteen forty nine one time cost, nothing left, no other cost, no nothing. With the placeholder websites, you don't care if anyone ever sees these pages, and that's the point. All of these links, if no one ever sees any of these pages, I still get the benefit. That's what gives me the page rank three. That's what gets me on the front page of stuff for all the websites I want. It doesn't matter if anyone ever sees these. Okay. What matters is that they're backlinks that Google has said count because Google indexed those pages, and that's all it takes. So I hope you found that interesting. And all right, that's it. That's all I have for you. This is Dave Bennett from WebsiteMarketingSolutions.com, Emoji Crew, and you guys have a really good day. Bye.